Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I'm Simon, this is Red Western Bushcraft, and in this video, I wanna talk about these guys, the Yuko Candle Lantern. Hey, it has been a minute, hasn't it? So I was making a modification for this guy, the Yuko Candle Lantern, and I thought, you know what? I'll stick the camera on and uh, I'll show you guys what I'm doing. That has now snowballed into making this whole video. So what I've decided to do is I'm gonna talk about this. I'm gonna talk about its pros and cons, some of its aftermarket stuff you can buy, and some modifications you could do, or at least what I've done. So, first of all, the pros. It's robust, it's sturdy, it's collapsible, so it keeps itself nice and safe. When you do extend, it has a click so you know when it's in place. That click, there's three um, little feet that click into place. This is a, a single candle, a glass housed candle lantern. It's a traditional design, so if you're going for that traditional bushcraft aesthetic, this will fit right at home in your camp with a Dutch oven and a tripod over an open fire, you know the type. So it throws out just a little bit of light and it's great for adding a little bit of warm ambience around camp. Um, it's not going to be a spotlight, it's not going to help you find your keys or your bottle opener or anything like that, um, but it does just set the mood. But it is a gorgeous compact little thing, um, it unscrews from the bottom and you get a little housing like that and it takes a candle that looks just like that. You can get a couple of different types of candles. You can get a beeswax one, which I think lasts about 12 hours. You can get these blue ones, these are the citronella ones, and then you can get the plain white. I guess it's like a, a, an oil-based wax or whatever. It is spring-loaded, so it feeds going up and pushes the candle all the way to the top. So the wick is always at the top, ready to burn right where it needs it. So this thing has a viewing window. Now. When you put putting it in, you screw it on and you turn it and you get it just right and you can see how much candles left and where the um, platform that pushes the candle up is. Uh, when it's sat there, you will see as the hours go by. It just claps down and everything folds in on itself so it's nice and compact. It comes equipped with a little bale handle and a little few chain links and an S hook. So you can hang it tree, from your tent, from a tarp, um, however you want. Some of the cons, it is quite expensive. Um, these things are I think about 15 quid for a three pack. Um, it's not very bright and it being a, a candle lantern, it does get hot. Don't put your hand on it too quickly. That gets red up and it does burn. I was doing some testing earlier uh, and I lit to see if something worked. Blew it out, as soon as I did that, burnt my hand. The top there uh, gets incredibly hot incredibly quick. So <laughs> please, once you've blown it out, allow it to stand and cool, because that is enough time to burn your hand. I'm not entirely sure of the dimensions or specification of this thing, so what I'll do is I'll put them on screen and you can pause it, read it at your leisure. And I've got some scales here, so I'll check the weight of them for you. And that reads at 174 grams. Uh, obviously that's with a relatively full candle, get lighter as it burns along, but under 200 grams for a little bit of ambient light, sounds good to me. Let's talk about some of the aftermarket things you can buy for it. The first thing that you could buy, and I think everybody should buy it, you can buy them in packs and kits that come with it, is this neoprene sleeve. Just opens up in the middle, and all you do is slide it in, and then you've got a nice, robust little case for it. Stop it getting banged about, stop it rattling, um, stop it getting scratched in your kit, things like that. Another great thing you can get for your Yuko candle lantern is this thing. It's a, um, a top reflector, um, and how it works is you've got two halves, and one half has got some studs and on the other side has got some uh, holes. 
and you just feed the holes into the studs of the other side and fit it on like that. Once you've got this, fits over the top of your lantern and all it does is reflects back any light that bounces over the top. Um, usually when you're hanging it, it's higher than you. So you've no need for that light to illuminate the roof of your tent or your tarp or the tree line. So one of the last things I've found is one of these concave reflectors. Um, it just hangs on the back of your lantern and it just helps direct some of that light onto an area you want. It doesn't increase your light output by a whole lot, but it is noticeable. You can of course combine the two uh, by adding the top reflector and the back reflector and then that would create uh, quite a focused amount of light um, and you'd be surprised again this is just a single uh, flame candle Yuka also sells a three candle candelier it's exactly the same design but big enough to house three individual candles three of these guys um, and you can choose to light one or two or all of them and it does throw off a lot of light it's heavier it's bigger it's bulky it's not for everybody um, but it is out there Okay, so now I want to talk about some of the modifications I've made. The first one I made was a simple um, shroud. This is actually uh, an old gin can, but you can use any small diameter fizzy drinks thing. And all that does is sits inside there. Um, you do this by taking the top off and just sliding the collar in. So I've cut mine to fit between two of the pillars. Okay, so it covers two thirds of the candle kind of lighting um, area. Now, after testing with this, it doesn't really reflect much light, but what it does do is stops any light going behind you at all. So if you're doing something a bit more stealthy, if you were trying to be a little bit leave no trace, um, maybe you're camping somewhere a little bit less than legal, this will be great for giving you just a small amount of light um, in a direction you need, just enough so you can see where your hammock is or something. So this is what I was working on when I decided to turn the camera on. This is the reason for the video. This is the reason I want to share with you. And this is a tea light replacement for the candles that Yuko provide. Um, it's a collar of um, metal from a, another small diameter can of pop or can of gin. Um, and it just stacks a load of these tea lights. Now all I've done is I cut it to diameter, I glued it in place and then I've used some sandpaper um, just to clean it up because <laughs> as silly as it seems, with the paint on, it wouldn't fit in the lantern. So what we do is we take our lantern, we unscrew the bottom, take out the candle housing. This itself unscrews and the spring comes out. The first time you take the spring out, it's just caught under a little bit of plastic. So you just twist it and it comes out straight away. So you take your tea light replacement, you put it in your base, and then you just slide it inside where your candle was, close it up, and when you open it up, you've got a tea light right at the top. Now, if you do make this modification, it's great. Tea lights aren't as bright as the Yuko lights, and when the wax turns into liquid, it obviously sits in the, its own tea light tray, and if you wobble the candle, it falls onto the glass, and then you've got a bit of a clean up job afterwards. Okay. The only other thing is that top one, when it gets hot, starts to melt the one underneath it. So I am going to get a little disc, maybe some plastic, some cardboard or something, just to sit on top there as a little heat shield. Now, listen, I'm not going to be the one to tell you whether or not having a naked flame inside a tent is a good or a bad idea. I'll let you make that decision for yourself. You're all adults. And if you're not an adult, find an adult you trust and ask them. Like your auntie who's an accountant, or your uncle who keeps the plastic film on his phone. Don't talk to your classmate who has to ask if penguins have knees, or your cousin who thinks playing chicken on a main street is a good idea. Like, be sensible about this, you know what to do. 
Well, guys, that is everything I've got time for today. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've spoken about the candle. I've spoken about its accessories, its modifications. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, give me a thumbs down if you want. If you want to watch my latest video, that'll be up here. Some more great content, hit down here. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. That'll be on the compass in the middle. Um, if you've got any comments, anything you want to know, drop it down below. And until then, guys, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.